Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. In this video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on designing multi, multi, excuse me, multicolor 651 decals, and I'm going to show you how I do it with a clear base. Um, I offer clear bases to my clients if they're going to do something like put it on a floor temporarily it makes it to where they don't have to take each individual letter up individually and it will come up all as one piece so i'm going to show you how i'm going to set that up now if you don't want to do the clear uh version you know you don't have to the next video after this will be a video on how to set it up I did a live over on Facebook of putting that, like this exact design together. I did that earlier today. I will download that one. I'm gonna have to edit it out a little bit because I had to run around to get tape and things like that. So once I edit that, you guys will be able to find the actual application part of that over on my channel, Elite Prints and Creations. But I'm gonna show you how I designed it in Silhouette Studio. So this is the design. Um, these were from another file that I had. So I'm not, I didn't trace it. It was actual vector file. They came like that, but I'm going to show you how I did the name. All right. We are going to come on this side. So if you've never worked with Silhouette Studio or you're learning it on your left hand side, the A on this side is where you initiate your text. So you're going to click on that. And we're just going to type out um, what we need for our decal. Well, I end up doing these as the same font, so I can just hit enter and then go gender. Reveal. All right, we're going to increase the size of this. Then to change the font, you're going to come to the A on your right hand side. So for this one, I used All Spice. And this is was capitalized. So we're just going to go in there and do that. And I think everything else is pretty much, let me see, I don't know. This one may have been just a regular, nope, it was a capital G. Oh, I think I increased it. So I'm gonna come here to the alignment, like when you're in text mode, and I'm going to center it. I'm also going to take my line spacing and go up just a tad. All right. And then I'm gonna click off, right click, and weld. So all the letters that are overlapping, it would well, it will weld those together. All right, now we're gonna click off. I'm going to select all of Jamal, hold down shift, select reveal, and I'm going to color them red. I'm coloring them red just for the sake of knowing which color was which. I cut this from 651, it's not printed. Um, so this was just for visual purpose for me. I don't even use cut by color or anything like that. This was strictly for visual purposes. And I forgot to group them, so let's click off and then group just Jamal by itself and then reveal by itself. I'm just gonna go ahead and group together. I like keyboard shortcuts, so I'm using Control G, and to undo, I just did Control Z. But Control G or Command G on a Mac will group them together. And we're just gonna make this a purple. Doesn't matter which one. And then, like I said, these were a file that I had. I'm just gonna pull these up here and pull this one. I normally do not um, stretch my fonts. For this one, to give it a little bit more space, I kind of went against what I would normally do, and I did stretch it. So you can see the difference in the and sign and just like the way Jamal and uh, Trinity is. So I did 
stretch it just a little to increase it. I don't, I don't ever do that with pictures, but for text, no one really knows how it looks. Now, if it just makes it look really, really crazy, you know, then you'll know. But with this, no one knows if it should be stretched or not. But for pictures, I never stretch them out that way. So we're going to just put this here, bring this one up and probably over some and I'm going to, I'm going to bring this down. I know I took it up with my line space. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Now I'm going to put an offset on this. So this is pretty much it for this. Um, all it takes is you to type it out, change the font on it, weld anything. So the reason why I also wanted to do this was to show that just because it's um, not a full on script font, there were letters that were touching and overlapping. So you have to weld, even if it's not a script font, any font where the letters are touching, you need to weld. And then to create the clear base on it, we're going to do a offset. I'm gonna do each line separately so that it doesn't connect here. All right, we're going to come over here to the offset panel. It's the little star. Hover your mouse over it. It will say offset. I'm going to click on offset. And I just did a really, really small one. I did 0 0.025. No, I'm sorry, not 0 0.025. I did 0 0.25. So 0 0.25. So not too, too big. You can do your um, offset whatever size you want. I did play around with this to kind of find ahead of time, like which one, like what size would make it to where they would weld together so it makes it where it's solid. Again, I want a solid base because that's gonna make it easier for my client to lift it up once they are um, done with it to lift it off the floor. So we're going to click off or you can hit apply. I do see that this one right here is not quite connected. So I'm going to select those I'm going to hold down shift and use my arrow key and just bring it over some until it connects. And for this one, I'm just going to double click on it and bring this one up slightly just to kind of make sure that it wells right there. Um, I also see that there's a gap in between the E. So we're going to select, well, we have to first click on reveal on group and we're going to select this part, hold down shift, use the arrow key and move it over just enough for it to overlap and probably just move it just a little bit. Then I'm going to select the outlines only. So being very careful to put my mouse over just the outline, that's the V, click on the V, there we go. So I have both of the outlines, I see the big box around it. We're going to, oh, let's also click on the one here and we're going to weld. So now my background is all solid. And let's see, is there anything on this side? Nope, this whole side is connected. Now I'm going to do the top and also go back in here first and group back together, reveal. You can also right click and choose group. So let's select all of this. Go over to our offset panel again, offset. Point two five, and then apply. And I'm going to see if there's anywhere where it's not connected. There isn't for me. I did not want to have this little small area. So I'm gonna put a box right here, just like not too far down, um, but about there. I'm gonna hold down shift, select the offset, which I don't know why it's not selecting, let's zoom in. And there we go, and we're gonna weld. That's just gonna make it where it's not gonna go up so high, um, and that becomes a very intricate piece right there. I personally also don't like to keep really small pieces because it makes it really hard to weld them in I me mean, to um, weed them anyway. So we're going to double click on it and I'm going to hold down shift, 
select this piece here and just go delete point because that's a really small piece. I could do the Y as well, but I'm not gonna do that one. So that's all set up right now. And that is how, well, now that I can see that this is overlapping, again, I don't want it to overlap. I'm gonna select everything at the bottom and I'm going to play around with it and adjust it a little. Um, sometimes I may then choose to make this smaller or I'll make it bigger so that it doesn't interfere with this one because I wanted them to be separate. The other thing that I would do, which, I, which is what I did with this one is, we're going to wait for this to process. I moved the reveal to like the outside of the S a little bit or moved it down some and then, so let's undo. All right, I'm gonna move this, use my arrow key, move it down just a little. And then I'm gonna take gender and the symbol on this side and go up. This is a font that's not a straight line anyway. So I can go up just a little so that it doesn't look like there's so much of a gap. And I could even bring Jamal over and down. All right. So that is how I designed this. Very easy, very simple. It's something that you can, you know, really make a quick sell on using 651. You know, no real, like there was no tracing to this. It was just text changing the colors. And now I will set it up to cut it um, from vinyl so that I can layer it all out. So be sure to come back to the channel. Um, and at the end of this video will actually be the link uh, to go straight to that video on how to set up the, I like to call alignment marks. So the next video will be setting up the multicolor um, transfer, all right? So if you are not subscribed to the channel, I do hope that you enjoyed the contents of this video and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. If you have any suggestions for additional quick tip tutorials, feel free to leave them as a comment below. My email address is in the description box. You can also email me your questions and requests. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one.